I have been able to get ready uh, at, well, I wouldn't say at my own pace because I never know when Delilah's gonna wake up. So even if she's asleep and I'm getting ready, I still find myself kind of rushing because you never know when she's gonna wake. I have been able to at least get myself ready in the sense that I've been able to put a bit of makeup on this morning. I've done nothing with my hair. I've just quickly straightened these bits and it's been up like this for about three days now. Yeah, I'm all ready. Um, I'm just making sure that I have everything in the changing bag, like nappies, my purse, dribble bibs, things like that. This morning we're off to go meet a friend. She's also got a little girl, although her girl's about a year older than Delilah. So we're off to go meet her at half 11, and it's about quarter past 11 now, and Delilah's still asleep. It's so typical. You try your hardest to get them to sleep, and then when they sleep, they're asleep when you need them to not be. I mean, it's been great that I've been able to get myself ready, but now she's still asleep and she's gonna need a feed before we go. And I also need to get her changes into some clothes. Today, I've just got on this top that I got from Gap the other day. It's so soft and stretchy and just really comfortable. I really like it, although it's stripey. <sighs> I'm trying my best not to get stripey t-shirts and jumpers but it's just really hard there's so many stripes around and i seem to be drawn to them i'll try and link this because i only bought it yesterday so they should still have it the only thing with this top is that <laughs> i don't know if you can sort of see my, all my loose skin that i have <laughs> that's left from my baby bump that's my very very simple mum outfit today and now i don't know what to do with delilah because she's still asleep oh no she's woken up do you have a nice nap you're getting far too big for this Moses basket. Let's turn this white noise off. It's like you know the camera's on you and you're not going to smile. You always smile when I say good morning. Good morning. You're just going to stretch instead. Oh, it's a hard life, isn't it? Come on, let's get you dressed. Oh. What are those eyes for? Should we get you dressed? <laughs> you funny thing. Hey. <laughs> oh, stretch. Stretch. Are you a cheeky girl? You are a cheeky girl. You are a cheeky girl. Yeah, you are. You're the cheekiest of them all. Uh. Should we go see our friends? Should we go see our friends? <laughs> yeah! Just finished having coffee with my friends. She was actually a bit late, so it was fine that I was late. Delilah's had a couple of feeds, and now she's just really tired, so I'm walking around town, back and forth like a crazy lady, trying to get her to go to sleep, because as soon as I go into the town centre, she wakes up, so if I can get her to sleep, then hopefully I can run a few errands in peace. But yeah, it was really nice having a catch up with my friend. Um, I didn't film anything, because it was at a kid's cafe, so it's like a little kid's cafe that they have in the theatre around the corner. It's got a little soft play area, for older kids, Delilah's a little bit too young for it, but um, she is a one year old, so her, her little girl played in that whilst we had coffee. So that's why I couldn't film in there because obviously there's lots of people's kids in there. It's not really the thing to do. I think Delilah's asleep now, so I think first stop, lunch. This is the scrub that I'm getting. I love this stuff. I've not used it for ages, but my skin's getting so rough at the moment because I'm not able to moisturize every day like I used to. So um, I'm gonna pick this up. Everything I needed to do in town. I just got some dinner, picked up a parcel for Doug, and ate my lunch because <laughs> I knew that that would be guaranteed peaceful, uninterrupted lunch eating. Otherwise, once we get home, I reckon Delilah will wake up and then I don't get to eat my lunch in peace. <laughs> so I ate my lunch in town and now we're just walking home. 
I'm just running around doing a couple of things like putting plates away and getting myself some more water. Also, I picked myself up some pretzel sticks from Auntie Anne's. Cinnamon sugar, they are the best ones. Here's a little cutie in their chair. Do you love your little chair? Do you love it? Yeah. Shall we read a book? <laughs> the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But guess what, Delilah? He was still hungry. He was a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly, Delilah. <gasps> Did you like that? It's about five o'clock now, and we're having a little bit of playtime here on the floor, reading some books and playing with Sophie the giraffe. We've never done this before because she usually cries whenever we just come on the floor, but I think she's enjoying it. Different perspective for her to look around from. It's quite nice actually laying on the floor next to her and reading a book, and I think she's enjoying it, aren't you? Hello. Hello Delilah. <laughs> Look up here, can you see yourself? <gasps> oh, just pull my top down. You can do, yeah, just pull my top, that's fine. <laughs> Hello. That's a funny thing up there, isn't it? We're having some mummy daughter time. Well, every day's mummy daughter time. But we're having a nice little timeline here on the floor. <laughs> yeah. We're having some mummy daughter time. We have gotten to that stage where she holds on to everything, don't you? You hold on to hair, you hold on to t shirts, especially. She in the viewfinder, Delilah. It's <laughs> karate chop my throat. Karate chop my throat. I'm gonna have a chubby cheek. Delilah, that's my necklace. Can you let go of my necklace, please? Uh, oh, God. Nope. Okay, looks like I'm stuck here for a little bit. Delilah, that's a nice necklace Daddy got me. Can you not break that? Can you not... God, how are you so strong? How... Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe how good she's being. This is brilliant. I love this little playtime. I don't mean good. Babies aren't good or bad, but you know what I mean. She's not crying. So I mean good in that way. But yeah, this necklace I get asked about all the time. And it was a gift from Douglas on my 21st birthday. I'd always wanted a gold coin necklace. This is actually... Ooh, this is actually a St. Christopher. I didn't want a specific saint or anything it just happened to be a saint christopher that douglas bought me which is meant to bring you good luck on your travels but yeah i just kind of i just wanted a gold coin necklace and so doug bought the coin separately and the chain separately but from the same jewelers and it's just from a jewelers in our town but i'm pretty sure if you go into any jewelers 90 percent of them will probably have a necklace very similar but yeah there's no specific place you can get it for any of you that were asking but we're gonna carry on and have some playtime aren't we okay you started grabbing faces too now <laughs> you're getting very wiggly 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 Stop. what are you getting so excited about eh Anyway, we're going to continue having our little playtime. What have we got here? Shall we see what presents we've got? Mamas and Papas asked if they could send Delilah a few bits. Because you are just such a spoiled little girl and everyone loves to send you gifts. Oh, this is so cool. This is from their new collection and it's called Corby Tinder Sticks. 
So it's from this new collection. And they have a couple of toys. Oh, these are so cool. These don't sound like any other rattles I've heard. I know it sounds really silly, but lots of kids' toys sound the same. But these don't. Oh, these are so sweet. Look at them. I love bag dolls and um, stuffed toys and things that aren't sort of your stereotypical look. And I love these. Put him on you. See if you pay any interest to him. There you go. You probably don't care about them just yet, do you? But I'll put them there, see if they keep you entertained. Next thing. This is so sweet. I've only just started to put her in dresses because when she was really little, they just don't look right. How cute is this? This is age three to six months. So, oh, you just dropped her. So this will probably fit her in a couple of months. A month or so, I mean, she's going to be three months next week. This looks like quite a big three to six months so i don't know we'll see but that's gonna look cute on you isn't it with a little pair of tights you get sent all this lovely stuff and you're gonna cry <laughs> and you're gonna cry <laughs> you want some more food <laughs> you want some more food okay okay there's one more thing that they sent but delilah wanted feeding so i'm just feeding her now this little one has fallen asleep on me. Oh, did mommy wake you up talking? Oh dear. It's quite late now. Dog was even later back from work today because of traffic. He's in the kitchen making dinner and I will probably think about feeding Delilah and putting her to bed soon. He's just staring at me. You little kitty. You little cutie, are you smiling at me? Oh, you spotted the camera. You spotted the camera. Are you a cutie? <laughs> oh. Watching the bake off. Uh, we've got dinner, got prawn stir fry. I have just fed Delilah and put her in her crib and now I need to get ready for bed and take my makeup off and everything. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and like I always say, I will see you guys in a couple of days. What was that? Ooh. See you guys soon. Bye!